welcome back students now we come to the next topic in chapter 1 of history rise of nationalism in europe so the next topic is visualizing the nation so how does a nation get an image because nationalism was spreading and to develop the feeling of nationalism it was important that some icons are there so that citizens recognize them as a feeling of nationalism so we'll go to the notes first first point while it was easy enough to represent a ruler through a portrait or a statue earlier what was happening that in empires when the monarchical form of government was there a empire was recognized by the statue of an empire uh, emperor or a portrait a painting of a uh, emperor so now how to develop a feeling of nationalism when a nation is born artists in the 18th and the 19th century personified a nation that is they tried to give a nation a image and how was that done nations were then portrayed as female figures so female figures were portrayed and trying to show them as a nation figure the female figures became an allegory of the nation that is an image was given of a nation to a female figure christian marin a popular christian name which underlined the idea of people's nation her characteristics were drawn from those of liberty and the republic the red cap the tricolor the cockney so this image of marini was given a image to the france nation and this all was trying to show that there is liberty and a republic form of government according to the red cap the tricolors and the cockney next image that is germania became the allegory of the german nation this is germania image and this became an allegory for the german nation germania wears a crown of oak leaves so this is the crown with oak leaves as the german oak stands for heroism so that means this image and an image there are different colors or different uh, images which are trying to show allegory and it is trying to show heroism patriotism liberty republic etc now we'll understand different meanings of different symbols first coming to meaning of symbols attribute and significance for example broken chains this is trying to show that a person is being freed breastplates with eagles symbol of the german empire strength oaks crown of oak leaves heroism sword means readiness to fight olive branch around the sword that is willing to make peace black red and gold tricolors flag of the liberal national list in 1848 banned by the dukes of the german states so these were the flag which was being used by the liberal nationalist and this was banned rays of the rising sun this is trying to show a beginning of a new era now we come to the topic nationalism and imperialism now we'll study how nationalism becomes aggressive nationalism and it leads to imperialism imperialism means uh, trying to dominate some other country and try to utilize those resources for their own benefit for example britain had occupied india and britain was an imperialist power by the quarter of the 19th century nationalism no longer re retained its idealist liberal democratic sentiments of the first half of the century but became a narrow creed with limited ends so now what is happening what actually nationalism was dreamt by the liberal nationalist that had been long forgotten and new a narrow form of nationalism has come into effect that is aggressive nationalism feeling of that my nation is the best whereas the other nation is not capable of that so aggressive nationalism is come into play the most serious source of nationalist tension in europe after 1871 was the area of the balkan now we come to the map this is present turkey and this all area was part of the ottoman empire which had established the power over these areas in the 15th century now as the 
Ottoman Empire became weak, new countries became independent like Greece, Albania, Serbia, Bulgaria, etc. Now all these, this area was known as the Balkan region, including the Ottoman Empire. And so the next point now, the Balkan was a region of geographical and ethnic variation. So these all different small countries are having different ethnic groups. One by one, its European subjects, nationalists broke away from its control and declared independence. So they broke away from the Ottoman Empire and declared independence. The area became an era of intense conflict. The Balkans were jealous of each other and each hoped to gain more territory at the expense of each other. So all these countries, they became, they were already jealous of each other. They tried to control and gain one another's area territory and become more tried to show that they are more powerful and in this process what is happening each power russia germany england austria hungary was keen on countering the hold of other powers over the balkans so other powers such as germany austria hungary russia britain all wanted to support one or the other countries which had become independent in the ottoman empire just to make groups or alliance on for their own conditions. They did nothing serious to solve the Balkan issue, rather watch the situation to turn fruitful for them. When they were all fighting amongst themselves, all these big nations, they did not try to solve the issue and make this area peaceful. They wanted this area to be tense because they wanted to turn the situation in their own favor. This led to a series of war in the region and finally the first world war. Now what is happening when these small countries, Balkan countries, they are being supported by one another. So different groupings are being formed and there are two wars fought between these countries which is known as the two Balkan wars and finally this area becomes very tense, situation becomes very tense and this all leads to the First World War. But the idea that the society should be organized into nation states came to be accepted as natural and universal. This all led to the First World War, but the idea of a nation was accepted and even after First World War, the map of Europe totally changed. New nations were born because the idea of nation, liberal nationalist organizing into nation states was accepted by the people. Now with this we come to the end of the chapter. Thank you all.